What is up you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm so excited for this video um, because I feel like there's not an actual video out there like this already so I hope I do this justice. Um, this is a Halloween DIY costume of Lance and Roxette from Striking Vipers in the Black Mirror episode. So the backstory of this is my boyfriend and I actually had a Halloween clubbing event to go to and we had to dress up and that morning he woke up and he was like, hey, do you want to be striking vipers? And I was like, well, <laughs> it's kind of a great idea. So the only bad part about that was it was so last minute. So I had to scramble to find stuff and he did as well. But we ended up pulling it together and everyone loved it, both on Instagram when we posted and also when we went to the club. I was standing in the bathroom and this girl was like, hey, are you that one girl from the Black Mirror episode? And I was like, wow, we really pulled through. So I wanted to show you guys how I got this. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not a like craftsman by any means or am I great at DIY, but this is for you guys out there that aren't great at sewing or you know aren't the best at that kind of stuff. This is super simple to do. So I will show you Roxette and uh, my boyfriend will help me um, with showing you how to make Lance's costume. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. For the Roxette costume, what you'll need is some red fingerless gloves, a red long sleeve robe, a bralette or bra of your choice, some shorts, or you can also use briefs, a belt about this size, one thigh high sock with lace like this, and a blonde bob wig. So now that I showed you um, what pieces of clothing you need and materials, um, what you'll want to do is fix your face and your hair um, to wear the wig and also look like the character. So I'll just run through that really quickly. Um, the best way that I found to put my hair up is through pinning it up. And I do have really thick hair, so I do need a shower for it to get all really tight in my head. So I'll go ahead and take a shower and then I'll show you guys how I do my hair in a wig. All right guys, so while my hair is drying right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup. Roxette doesn't have too much crazy makeup at all. It's pretty simple actually. She does have a smoky dark eye. Um, her eyebrows are actually dark, not blonde like her hair. Um, and she has a bright pink lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and accomplish just normal makeup and then just put on a bright lip and have some lashes and a smoked out eye. So I will be right back. Alright guys, my makeup is basically done, but I realized I don't have like hot, hot pink lipstick to wear. So what I'm going to try to do is take some hot pink eyeshadow and just like dab it on my lips. I found this like pink one, but I think like her lipstick is super hot pink. So I'm going to try this out. Wish me luck. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> So the things that you need for your hair are a wig cap. You can either use, you know, I don't think it really matters what color, but I decided to get a blonde one because of the blonde wig. And then you'll need a variety of pins. The ones that I have are these um, long bobby pins. I don't know what they're really called. And then I also have these smaller bobby pins. And then you'll also need these long pins to uh, pin the wig into your hair. So make sure you have a variety of pins. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you make sure that it's secure on your head. And then the first thing you'll want to do to prep your hair is put the wig cap over your hair on your neck and make sure all the hairs are out of it. And then you'll want to split up your hair into different parts. And what I do is I just braid it in sections and then I'll pin it up here. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I look a little bit crazy right now, but what I basically did is braided my hair into four sections and then I just pinned it on top of my head like this. Um, you can honestly braid however many sections you want, um, depending on the length of your hair, the thickness of it. 
If you just wanted to do two braids, you could. If you didn't want to shower before you did your braids, you can do that too. It's all up to whatever, you know, your hair does best. So now that I have this all up, I'm going to go ahead and pull my wig cap up and tie it at the top. All right, so now that my wig cap is all on and tied, I'm gonna go ahead and put my wig on in the bathroom. All right, so now that I have the wig on, obviously it's not perfect, I'm gonna have to make some cuts here. Uh, but what you'll wanna do is grab these bigger pins here and just find the areas where you think you want to make sure that it's stable. So usually it's up top here. So what I'm gonna do is make the pin go into the head through the wig into your hair and then just scoop upward and pin in yes and that way it makes sure it's, it's making sure that that part is nice and stable you guys i have so much hair so it's really really hard to get my hair to fit in this but you do what you can okay i'm gonna do the other side And then usually you'll want to do these tabs right here close to your head so it doesn't you know show the inside of your hair and then do the back as well so i'm going to do the off camera all right guys so i just finished um fixing my wig and pinning it in so it looks decent for now um, and now i'll go ahead and show you guys how to make the costumes so for Roxette's costume all you really need is a pair of scissors and what you're going to want to do to the robe is cut off the sleeves. So this robe made it super easy because there was already a mark at kind of that short sleeve mark. So just go ahead and make that cut there. Then you're obviously going to do the other side. Um, it doesn't have to be the most perfect cut, but I guess as straight as um, possible it would be good. Then you want to make these little triangles um, on the ends of your sleeve like she has. Um, keep in mind that when you are cutting these, it might be a little bit of fray, but if you just take like a lighter, um, you can just go around the edges and that will stop the fraying. And then once you're done with this side, follow up with the other side and make the identical triangle. For the Lance costume, this is what you're going to need. So you'll need to get a pair of black sweats, a black t-shirt that's two sizes bigger than your normal size for guys, and a red belt. You can either cut this out of a red shirt or you can use the belt from the girl's robe. Some athletic tape to wrap around your forearms. And you'll need some black fingerless gloves. My boyfriend actually just took like normal cheap gloves and cut off the fingers for it. Starting off with your oversized black shirt, you'll want to make this cut and just take off that collar section. Once you're done with that neck cut, you'll want to cut a straight line from about one fourth over to the left side of the shirt. Once you're done cutting the straight line, you'll want to perfect the edges. So you'll want to make that V, V neck after that, you'll want to make another cut, basically cutting out the center of the shirt all the way up to the top. After that, you'll obviously want to cut off the sleeves to make it that vest karate look. So go ahead and just cut along the seam of the sleeves on both sides. Then for the sweats, you'll basically just want to cut off the bottoms of both sides of the sweats. Pretty simple there. Then you'll need some red acrylic paint and a paintbrush, and you're just going to want to 
paint the red design on the left side of his leg. I'll put a picture right here. And it's basically two snakes intertwined. It basically takes up the whole left side of the leg and makes some dashes of black on the snakes. So getting a close-up of Lance's costume, you'll just take that shirt, wrap it around with the red belt, and put the athletic tape and gloves on. I think Krenz messed up a little bit on the leg design because um, his is pretty small, but yeah, I think overall you get the point. For Roxette's costume, I paired it with some black booties, that thigh-high sock goes on the left side, and for the red robe, I pulled it over to the left side so the slit could be on that left leg. Put the belt around and wear your red fingerless gloves. And here's what the finished costumes look like. Um, they're not perfect, but I think people will get the point of it um, if they're, you know, seeing it from afar. We had so much fun making this costume and I think it's going to be a crowd favorite because everyone loves Black Mirror and this episode was a game changer for sure. <laughs> So that completes this video of the DIY Lance and Roxette costume from Striking Vipers. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys have any questions on how to make this costume, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. I hope this will be a fun, easy Halloween costume that you guys can just throw together. Um, it'll be best if you probably order this stuff on Amazon because it's cheaper rather than having to go out and get it. I actually got my real robe from Kohl's the day of but I reordered the one from Amazon and both of them look about the same so it depends on you know how last minute you want to do these costumes but I will leave a link down below of my Amazon list that you guys can shop from and yeah if you guys liked this video feel free to hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye